Hi, Josh. Um, I just saw your video about how, like, you want us to give us, uh, you our ideas for Halloween. So I just had this fabulous idea. Me and my group of friends, um, my three other friends, uh, Jadelyn, Melissa, and Julia, we all are kind of into this book series called Daughters of the Moon. I know it's really nerdy, but it's really awesome. And it's about four girls who are, like, part goddess um and they're like descendants of like the goddess of the moon essentially and each one of the daughters has a um has a guardian to look after them so each of us are, are a certain guard um a, are a certain daughter because we're making a web series or are trying to and we're filming it but that's a different story um but each one of our uh, daughters has a guardian and so we decided we should um, dress up like them for Halloween. This is, I'm asking for my makeup. You don't have to do all four. This video is specifically for my guardian and I'm dressing up as um, Hecate, um, goddess of the dark moon and she's the guardian of Serena. And so um, so the goddess of the dark moon, I'll give you some background because I think this might be helpful. She is the goddess of obviously the, the dark moon, the new moon. She's usually portrayed as evil because in like, like when Christianity was starting and paganism was bad, um, they saw her as evil because she's usually portrayed as a crone, as like an old woman. Um, because she, because there's like three phases of the moon, which is the like beginning moon, the full moon, and then the ending moon. I think it's like waxing and then waning. So th the waning part, I think, represents um, dying and like old age, but it also represents like wisdom and um, and like magic because some old like older people back then were known to be magical because they were so wise because they've been through so much she's usually portrayed as a crone or an old woman but not all the time so if you want to make it a crone or like an old woman or look that's that's fine i mean that's what you get from it i have pictures and i will show you so hecate usually looks like this Her animals are wolves or dogs. Um, don't ask me why, but they are. Um, she's also known as the goddess of crossroads, where, like, you know, when you're at a crossroads, you make you make a really important decision because she's represented as the goddess of like kind of like life. So she like te she helps you through it, and um, so yeah, she's also the goddess of witchcraft so um she's also portrayed as a little like witchy with a cauldron or a staff so you know i, I it's kind of like me asking for a witch but she's she's not really hecate is mo is um also portrayed as kind of the um feminine like power and strength like um she's known as the liberator from like masculine like oppressiveness i guess women can be independent from men. So I thought that was a fascinating tidbit and I like it, so. She's also part of the, she's also portrayed with having three heads or three faces. Now, I read both, but what I get from it is that there's three goddesses of the moon. There's Artemis, the maiden, and she's the goddess of the waxing moon. I'm probably really wrong, but. And then there's, Celine, the goddess of the full moon, she's portrayed as the mother, nurturing and pregnant, most likely. Um, and then Hecate is the goddess of the waning moon, where she's the goddess of like dying, but she's wisdom and stuff like that. And so, because she's also portrayed as evil, it's like you know, she's kind of like misunderstood in a certain way.
She her colors are silver, black, and purple or dark blue, depending. Also, this is crucial. This symbol is is important. So you can add that somewhere or whatever, but that is the symbol of the triple goddess. That's the basically the symbol of the goddess of the of the moon and that's her, that's the symbol. So it's kind of crucial. You can add that somewhere. But yeah, just seriously, I just want you to go and have fun with it. Like, like just, you don't even have to do it, but I'm just saying, I think it would be a good idea. Now, if you want to be creative, like, and because, like, this, like, sparks imagination into you or something, and you want to do everyone else's, um, like, out of my friends, you can ask me, because, you can ask me or anything, because, like, I think they might appreciate that, but I don't know. So, thank you. If you decide to do this, I will be eternally grateful. Um, and I know it's a little complicated, but um, I'll try to make it less complicated. And uh, thanks.